Good morning from Fetier. Thanks. I've just got off the minibus from Aludanese town and I've arrived, I've arrived at the beach on Turkey's turquoise coast. They say it's the nicest beach in Turkey. So let's have a look. There's a lad paragliding right just right down onto the grass there. This place is very famous for paragliding. I think it costs about 60 or 70 euros. I don't know if I'll do it. I might. I'll probably see them all doing it and eventually give in. But uh, okay, looking nice, looking nice. Oh yeah. I'll take a little walk around. Scuba diving, snorkeling, paragliding, and all of the uh, all of the cruises you can go on, off the different islands. Jeep safari, the paragliders. Oh, they're everywhere. Actually, when I was drinking in the hostel last night, there was a lad drinking there, and he's a paragliding pilot. And I was thinking to ask him, like, if I could get a discount. Then I was watching him as he was drinking. I was like, he drinks more than me. I don't need to be going up with him. Maybe he's hung over. I mean, I can be hung over, fair enough, but the pile hung over, no thanks. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Jeez, I thought they were coming right for me. Have a little look around the town. So the further you're off from the beach, obviously your drinks, your food, your tours, everything gets a little bit cheaper. Oh, I still don't know what I want. I'll probably just look around and then go for a swim in a while. Then maybe after a beer, I'll get a bit excited and then take a little tour. Really nice big pubs. I can only imagine what they're like during normal times. Really nice. Lovely around here, really lovely. Nice sandwiches, kebabs. It's a proper holiday resort. Beautiful place. This is what I'd be dreaming about when I'm on the building sites back in Dublin. Oh, Tur Turkey's turquoise coast. Cindy Lauper. I'm already sunburned. So as I was lying down, I saw this boat in the distance and people getting onto it. I ran over to ask the lads, what's this? This looks like fun. They said, we're going to Butterfly Valley. We're going for about two and a half or three hours. Five euros, 50 lira. I says, I'll jump on. So I'm after leaving me towel on the, uh, on the sunbed over there. I don't know if it's still going to be there when I come back, but I've got everything else that I need. So um, yeah, we're going to Butterfly Valley. Um, he said I can get a drink over there and you can swim over there, so... Sounds perfect for me. So where we're going, apparently it's nicer than this. I don't know that how that could be, but we'll see. I will say one thing about that beach. See the way it's all, it looks white, yellow. That's all stones, yellow stones. It's not really sand. The only sand I saw was right up the end. So it's, and I'm not a fan of stony beaches, but it looks lovely. What an incredible place. All stones. Ooh. It's like a backpacker's paradise. 
they reckon there's about between 200 and 250 campers here at any given time it, during the summer. It's camping in tents and there's a few small wooden bungalows. A few tents around, they're all just scattered around. There's a few shops. It's a protected area, so construction is completely prohibited. It's only um, temporary structures are allowed, like these ones here. It's beautiful. You can hear the cock. Go over and say hello to the cock. Cool. Mate, I'm looking for food. Is there a place for food? Yes, food yeah. to eat something where? Yeah. You have food? Ah, oh, <laughs> right there. Yeah, in the right place. Yeah, I am. Best in the town. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. The best in town. One of the only in town, is it? The only one. And I found you. <laughs> I got my toasted sandwich. It's got pepperoni, cheese, tomato, and green peppers. I got my can of beer. The clerks know how to make a sandwich. There's a hole in the ground. There's your kebabs for later. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, you would think they were trained to do it. Ah, oh, they're just going for a drink. So it gets its name, uh, Butterfly Valley, from the uh, 105 butterflies, species of butterfly, belonging to 15 different butterfly families that are native to this valley. I haven't seen one yet, but I haven't been here long. Did I mention, you can only get here by boat. Makes it that much better, doesn't it? I'm walking a bit more inland now to see if I can come across some of those butterflies. I'm seriously considering coming out to camp. Camping out here would be fun. Nice bungalow. I reckon there's more than 200 people residing here. Everywhere you look, you see tents and bungalows. Especially the further you go away from the beach. Now, because of COVID, it's an escape from the pandemic. And that's just what the lad said to me that's working, that made my sandwich. Um, he said there's no COVID here. Just what we're all looking for, yeah? A COVID free environment. There'll be some asshole that listen, listens to this and then writes, oh well, you know you're still not blah blah blah. People are obsessed. People are nuts. What's up there? There's a bunch of girls walking down. All right. There's a waterfall back up that way. I don't have enough time to go there now. But I might come back tomorrow and camp here, so I'll have more than enough time then. Cactuses, palm trees, they have it all. They have it all, they have everything you need. Slush puppies now. Can you believe this is Turkey? People sitting around on the beach drinking, camping. I haven't smelled any weed yet. That's probably after the tourists go back. All the lads sitting down having a few drinks. They look Turkish as well. Turkey is just full of surprises. The contrast from place to place. It's um it, it's hard to grasp. It's not I never could have imagined it. And the best part is that I didn't know about all this before I came. I, I watched a few videos. Um not a lot, because I do like the element of surprise. But um, this, just looking at this, Butterfly Valley, Fethiye, really is a paradise.
Jesus. The guy in the boat is beeping the horn, saying, let's go. I thought we were leaving at five o'clock. It's actually 10 to five. Would have got myself a quick beer, but I'm sure there's plenty of time to drink beer. Those lads are from America, um, from Texas, nice fellas. So the boat coming back is a lot busier. It looks like we took a lot of those campers back with us. Boat fight. The boat in the middle is keeping things, things sweet. Don't let me near him. Tell you, don't let me near him. Hold me back. Get off the boat. Walk around. Come into his boat and sort it out. Oh, the boy's going off for a party. Hello, YouTube. What's the story? Hello, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He going for a party. Hello. Boat party. Go on the lads, loads of vodka. <laughs> Where are you from? Germany. Germany. Oh, German lads. I love Me too. <laughs> German. German. Germany. Germany. Can you say Magrüningen? Magrüningen. Wait, 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 wait. Which team is it? What football team are you? No, no, no. This is the state where we live in. Oh, the state, are we? How do you say it? Magrüningen. Magrüningen. <laughs> Enjoy it, lads. Go, go. Enjoy. All right. German lads going out for a, par a boat party. Me on my own. Don't know where I'm going. I could go back and just join them, couldn't I? Nah. Oh, look at those boats. They're all uh, captains of the Caribbean. Uh, pirates of the Caribbean, yeah? I'm going back now to see if my towel is still there. If it is, I'll go in for a swim. Yeah, about five hours later, and my towel is still here. It's a bit wet. Someone was using it. But that's nice that it's still here. Are we?